All right, today we're gonna to talk about powers of attorney. And there's various types of powers of attorney. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give us an overview to kind of the start. Sure, we typically recommend our clients to do three or four depending on whether they have minor children. So at a minimum, we would recommend that you do a financial power of attorney. It deals with all financial assets and accounts and real estate and that sort of thing. A healthcare power of attorney, which is very easy to explain. Basically, if you are able to communicate, you determine your own healthcare decisions, but a healthcare power of attorney is if you can't communicate, you're designating someone to uh, direct your healthcare decisions for you. And then in today's day and age, we also have a mental healthcare power of attorney, which is essentially a healthcare power of attorney, but it's specific to mental health issues. And then last but not least, if you have minor children, we also potentially recommend that you do what's called a delegation of parental powers of attorney. So that would be like if you're going to Europe for two weeks and you're leaving the kids with grandma, you could give them a delegation of parental powers of attorney which would allow whoever you designate to authorize emergency medical treatment or whatever needed to be done in your absence. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, and one of the powers of attorney that we deal with very commonly in real estate is say there's a husband and wife buying a home mm -hmm. and the wife or husband has to be out of the country on business at the time of closing and they won't sure. be here to sign their final paperwork. Sure. They can do a power of attorney that is just specific to that real estate transaction That's to right. give their spouse the authority to sign for them. So that's something that a lot of people feel like, oh, I don't want to do a power of attorney because then they feel like they're doing a power of attorney for everything. But you can do a power of attorney that's specific just to that transaction. That's right. Or you could do a general one that would include real estate transactions and everything else, really. And that's what we typically do for our clients is a general one. But to your point, a lot of times title companies would want to see a specific one to a specific transaction. But, you know, and you're right. Those are very common as well. Okay, very good. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome.